hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how to get uh, the image dimensions such as uh, width and height in pure javascript so we will be building a very awesome application so you can provide the image through a url so you can just provide a url of the image from the internet and then it will show you the width and the height of the image inside the browser so let me just show you the demo so you can see in the console menu here it is showing the width and the height of the image so this will be a functionality of the application we will be using this image method inside the javascript so let's start the application guys first of all just delete this index.html file here and just open your favorite text editor just make index.html file and uh, after that just write the barebone html structure here and just change the title get image dimensions in javascript so first after that you just i will first of all show you a very short little demo how to do this so just include your main.js file so now in the same directory just make another file called as main.js so if you want all the source code i have given the link in the video descriptions to get all the source code now first of all we will initialize the image constructor which is built in in javascript so we will declare a variable image we will use new keyword and image image is a constructor built in constructor in javascript and after that you need to provide image dot source so you need to provide the image url so you can take any image from the internet just copy its image address and simply initialize to this variable paste it here so it represents the url where the image is located uniform resource locator url so it is located here in this address so now when the image loads so, so there is a on load function here so whenever image loads on the browser this automatically this function will ex execute and now you can show the image uh, the width and the height so i can just have uh, two divs here first div will be to show the width here so i will provide a width id to it and second i will be having the height of the image so width and height so we can target both variables here so we can say const width document dot get element by id we can have width then we can have height which will be document dot get element by id height so then we can just manipulate the inner html which is inner html to this dot width and uh, for the height we can say inner html this dot height that's it so this will di display respectively the width and the image and the height of the image on the screen so what we can do is that we can also say the width of the image is then we can have some formatting here like this concatenate this dot width and similarly we can write the height of the image is so now if i reload the application guys what you will find out that the width of the image is 479 and the height of the image is 480 you can also change this image as well so i have some more image as well so i can just show you dynamically the width and height will change depending upon the image let's suppose i take this example copy image address if i change the url here like this dynamically the width and height will change so this is the image now if i reload it you can see the width is changed to 960 and the height is changed to 1200 so we can make this application little more dynamic by providing an input field where the user can input its uh, uh, the url of the image so we don't have to manually change the url for that so we can make it dynamic here so we can just have an input field so i will not be using any sort of framework so i will just be using an input field here input type text so i will attach a url or oh sorry id to it so that we can target in javascript and simple placeholder will be there enter image url that's it after that we will have a simple button so we will attach on click 
to it so whenever you click the button this function will execute which is get image dimensions so this is a method so now the label of the method will be get image dimensions that's it so whenever you do this so this function will automatically execute so we can wrap all this code inside this function get image dimensions so we can wrap all this code here so like this so now if I once again reload the application you will find out there is a text field out there if you paste your link here your image URL click on get image dimensions you will see the width of the image is 960 and the height of the image is 1200 you can obviously change this, change this uh, URL as well so if I change this to something else which is copy image address you can take any example any URL of your image so again click get dimensions so let me just see paste it here you can see 960 and 1200 so in this way guys you can make your application so I think it is coming because oh sorry we haven't binded it so that is why it is showing the same width and dimension so we also need to bind it as well so this needs to be dynamic not static so first of all we need to uh, url we can declare it and document dot get element by id and uh, we need to pass the id that we given to this uh, input element here which is uh, url so and we can dot value which it will get the value which the user has entered so just pass this value url dynamic value now the application is dynamic here so if you provide this url profile dot jpg so the image width this 479 and 480 if I change this to this bigger image and if I do this you will see the get image dimensions will change to 960 and 1200 so in this way you can just make this off awesome application in JavaScript pure JavaScript vanilla JavaScript it will give you the width of the image and the height of the image we haven't used jQuery we haven't used any third-party library we have just used vanilla JavaScript so if you like this video then please hit the like button for more videos like this and if you want to get all the source code, go to the video description link. I have given all the source code and please subscribe the channel as well. And I will be seeing you in the next video.